<laughs> oh, that was weird. Okay, me and you are on the bottom, Suzanne. I've got uh, 917 here and 856. I think, did I mention 856? So 856, can you hear me? Did you want to talk to Suzanne uh, tonight? Uh, that was me, the 856. That's you, Anne Marie? Yeah, that's right. 856 is me. Okay. Oh, I thought that was two. All right, well, hold on. Did you talk? I thought you were talking. All right, 216 then. Hi, this is your <laughs> messed up host tonight. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I'm, sorry, John, I'm just listening. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Very good. Who is this? Okay. Just listening. Two and six. Okay. Great. Thank you so much for your support. All right, everybody. I'm hopefully going to get my head on straight, but sometimes that's hard. I don't know if any of y'all can relate. <laughs> Nine one six. Can you hear Hello. me? Hello. Yes, Hi. I can. Hi. Uh, this is Nancy from California. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Oh, going through a lot of life changes now. Um, well, my okay. husband passed away two weeks ago, and um, okay. after a very long illness, so actually mm. he's in a much better place. So you can okay. see he's suffering. But okay. I'm going to have to go through a total life change, and I'm going to be moving in with my daughter, and I want to see what you see with these new changes coming on. Okay, so Nancy... Tell me what the weather is like in your area today, very precisely and slowly for me. Okay. It's um, balmy, I would say. It's in about the 80s, um, not a breeze. Um, Kind of, yeah, it's too warm for me really to go outside. I feel much better in the coolness (laughs) inside right now. Okay. So... I'm going to talk about you in an overview commentary first, and then I'm going to address your question, okay? So I like to find out if I'm on the right track and have my point with you in a way that we create a rapport. So you are somebody who is extremely charitable, hardworking, think the best of people unless you discover otherwise. You need people that have clarity and a true purpose in this world. You've had to overcome obstacles as far as difficulties with health and money and family relationships repeatedly in your life. Don't have a lot of patience for people that complain. That's kind of a no with you. But you do have an interesting relationship with your daughter in that your daughter is somebody who has been a good daughter, but she's also been a good friend to you. So... I think that it's a wise choice for you to be involved with living with her, but you're going to have to really pay attention to building a life for yourself. So are you moving far away in order to live with her? I'm moving to Oregon. I'm in California now. It isn't that okay. far. It's just a state over. Right. So do you have hobbies and activities that you like to do every day? It doesn't have to be anything interesting. Just do you have those things in place for yourself? I think so. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Um, it seems to me like you like to read, you like to have conversation with friends, and you like to mm-hmm. um, get out and walk and window shop. Necessar- don't necessarily need to spend money, but getting out and looking and thinking about buying things is just as satisfying as actually spending money. Oh, true. I like walking. I don't know so much about window shopping, but um, I do like reading. I do like walking. I do everything in the above you said. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So how can I help you with the question about moving in with your daughter? How can I help you with that question? Okay, First of all, my you... concern. I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. Go First ahead. of all, you are, you're kind of fragile still. I mean, I know that I know there's a lot of relief at how things turned out with your husband, but you're still it's still a big shock oh, yeah. and you and you still are a little bit fragile. No, it's true. I'm going through my ups and downs for sure. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. So so talk about your concern and let's see if I can assist you. Okay, it's just basically since I'm going to be moving uh in with her and her husband and my grandchildren, which I'm excited about. Um I don't want to overstay. I want to get my own place eventually, you know, a little place. And will I be able to do that, you know, 
fairly soon after I move in because I don't want to be a burden to her. I understand that. There's an interesting, an interesting idea here. In, um, I don't think that you're a burden to your daughter, but I do think that families families do better. If they're on the same piece of land and they have um, a separate house, like if you had a small house built on a piece of property that she was on or if you two decided mm-hmm. to combine resources and you put a house together for yourself, I think I think it works better when somebody has someplace else to go that is just theirs. And that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. That's a really good thing. So I see you going up there, and I see it taking six months for the two of you, your daughter and um, her husband and everything in the, you know, your family, because that's your family, sorting a whole idea out that works for everybody that's good. So there's a couple of different options that would be really good. One would be to take and live fairly close to her, Mm -hmm. Um, and then at the same time the other option would be to take and, you know, build a home where she is on her property. So you guys are going to think about this and talk it out. And I really have to tell you that um, Venus has just gone retrograde. And so conversations about love and matters of love and family is love. At least that's what I hope it is. Um, (laughs) Oh, absolutely. uh, (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So um, that kind of has a little delay on that. So we kind of have to, it like start, this Saturday and it runs all the way into October. So this period of time, I want you to be very patient with yourself and I want you to take your time. There's no hurry here. There is absolutely no hurry. Mm. Well, that's relieving. It really is. You know, I, all this time, uh, now I feel a rush, rush, rush because I have to give the house up to um, my husband's daughters i mean i'm on the d but i did promise them the house and i feel that urgency because i know they want to you know move in (laughs) it's just a a rush feeling that i have now and it's not comfortable and i really just need that time for reflection (laughs) yeah and i have to tell you this you know when these things happen you know your husband has died you know, and I assure you, your husband wasn't thinking that as soon as he as soon as he passed away that you were going to have to start packing up and moving. I assure you, you um, you take the time that you need to conclude your business in that home and say goodbye to it. I really don't think you should be too concerned. It's going to be theirs for the rest of their life. There's no hurry on it. Okay, no hurry. Oh, I know. It isn't that I even believe that, so I'm going to be moving in June because I decided that that would be a comfortable time for me. But it still is, you know, yeah. It isn't, it's just all on me, you know, that I feel like it's time to start my new life. And and I do, I am looking forward to moving in with my daughter. And uh, just one thing that's kind of interesting, I did get a visitation from my husband yesterday night. (laughs) I. This happens a lot to me. My dog Mm -hmm. visited after, you know, he passed away um, in August. And now, yeah, my husband, and it just takes on different ways from different people that I've had, you know, connections. So actually that was really relieving. (laughs) Yeah. Did he show up in a dream and make eye contact with you? Actually, he showed up just when I was about, this time it was when I was just waking up and I could see the room and everything, and he was scratching my back. Aww. <laughs> and that was Aww. something that, and that was and that was so unexpected, but it was something that he would do. And so that's why it was so special to me, is because it didn't come up like I just saw him or his face. or You know, I've had other things happen and with different people. But this one was special because it was the one thing he used to do for me, you know, give me a back scratch. So I knew it was him, and and I thanked him, and I said that was lovely. (laughs) Oh, I'm so happy for you. What a lovely thing to have as far as your husband coming and saying goodbye to you. I'm very happy for you. And you must have been really um, bonded and connected with one another in this lifetime that you have that great rapport with one another. That's lovely. Yeah, we were married for 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, very, very nice. 
But I'm telling you, just telling you to take your time and don't worry about anybody but yourself at this time. You need this period of time to take care of yourself. So I know you've made a promise to yourself, but you need to keep another promise to yourself, and that is is to take really good care of yourself so you feel good about this later. Mm. I certainly will do that. that. That helps a lot. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes. And, um, you know, you are welcome, you know, to contact me. And if I can help you, I'm happy to do that. I'm here for you. Oh, well, thank and you so much. And Suzanne, Suzanne mm-hmm. that was really good advice. I really appreciate it. Now, I'm putting up psych- psychicnetwork.club, folks, for me and Suzanne. I just purchased uh, it this week. But Suzanne... Uh, you can find her on Facebook as Susan Wyman, W-Y-M-A-N. Isn't that true, Suzanne? Yeah, Suzanne Wyman. It's actually Suzanne Wyman hyphen Flynn, F-L-Y-N-N. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let me put that on this page. Suzanne, wait, is it Wyman dash Flynn or hyphen, yeah. as you say, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, that was good for me. We didn't have a chance to talk uh, before this show, and next time we'll know we should touch base weekly and and all that <laughs> so we but folks this is our first we we we, we hemmed and hawed last week we had a pretty good show last week we got a rhythm going right. and uh tommy and and uh and marie said they'd help us and they're both here supporting us tonight and uh a couple other regular listeners and i don't know who you talked to just now was it 916 or 949 i know you probably don't know either do you no i wrote it down so let me take a look um 916 nancy at 916 okay nancy great all right. Now, uh, I, I apologize, everybody. This you, I hope we're not flowing quite as well because I changed up some uh, technical stuff, and that always seems to affect everything. And today I had all my phones and my cell phone, my everything uh, synced today, and it does make a difference when I'm coming over my uh, better five better five G in the MediaCom, which is what I have mm. here. So uh, we're starting a new club. Well, it's an old club from back in the eighties. I wanted to see if it could hold its own, and so I changed and put my old name, Psychic Network Club, back on here to see if I could start doing that again. So what I'm learning is I'm a lot older, and <laughs> I have a lot more to do. So uh, uh. we appreciate all your help. Now let's see nine four nine. Wait, is that that's you, right? That's me. I'm nine four nine. Yes. Okay. Now, which number? Let's see. Now, there's that's Tommy. Was six five zero listening? Yeah, six five zero just says they want to listen. Hi. Okay. Thanks for taking my call. Hi, oh, there she this? is. I'm here. <laughs> Who is this? Hi, my name is Zara. Hey, Zara. Hi, how are you? You're Hi, Zara. I can remember your name from a long time ago. So uh, mm-hmm. we're trying something new tonight. This is Suzanne, and uh, she's in California. Where are you calling from? I'm also calling from California. Wonderful. Oh. Well, I appreciate you start tuning in. All right, Suzanne, I'll let you do your thing, and then I have my little card set up here that I can just like pull maybe three or something. So you go ahead, and we'll try to do – Mix today's time with last week's, and sooner or later we'll get the balance back. But go ahead. I'm going to mute. Just yell at me when you're ready. Okay. Zara, okay. you have a specific yeah. question that you're working on that you I want actually, me to talk to you about. I actually don't. I was just wondering if I could get a general reading, whatever you pick up. I don't do that. The next month. You don't do that? Okay. I don't do that. Well, I, have, okay. I have a different set of um, – I have a different kind, sort of – um, thought about the fact that a person calls and they have a conversation that um, psychic energy is very precious and so I think that if you want me to assist you that you should be able to take and formulate what we're going to talk about so I can fine tune my energy so you could start with telling me what the weather in your area is like and then I could tell you about that and you could say that resonates for me, and then you choose what we're going to talk about at a deeper level. No, that's okay. Um, I'll pass. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Everybody has their own way. 
Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Uh, uh, I do what 